so a couple weeks ago I wore my hair up in what I call the bobby pin thing and in a minute you'll see why and I actually had a request by a friend of mine to uh, show you how to do it so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first thing I do is I always start with wet hair because I think it's easier to handle that way um, I usually part my hair on the side and um, to kind of make the front look nice, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin up one side and then the other. So um, I'm just gonna grab what would be considered my bangs. I give it a little twist and then I'm gonna grab a couple bobby pins. And for me, I kind of have thick hair, so I'm gonna have to do two on this side. And then I'll do the same thing over here. I'll just grab a little bit of the bangs give it a little twist and pin it right here. Now, it's called the bobby pin thing because I use a lot of bobby pins, probably close to 30. So if you're gonna try this, you might wanna go out and buy a brand new pack. I'll go ahead and show you how to do the back now. So I'm gonna start from one side and work around the back. And basically what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking the hair, small sections of hair, and you're gonna twist them Kind of like a dreadlock. You're going to twist it and then you're going to pull it up and you're going to take your bobby pin and pin it up. Now when this is all done you're going to have kind of this hair sticking up and it's going to kind of look like a peacock but it's actually kind of cute. It gives it a, a little bit of a messy style but I actually was able to wear my hair like this to my sister's wedding so if I can wear it to a wedding and get away with it, it's not too bad. Of course, nobody told me it looked bad, so who knows. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this, just watch, follow along, and you know, I figure you can move the, the strands wherever you want. Um, if you have longer hair, you're gonna have to be a little more creative with where you put your, where you put your strands. So, for example, instead of just pinning it straight up, like I can do with my short hair, you, you might have to come across and then pin it on the other side, but that's okay because you're gonna be coming from this side also, and these, these um, pieces that dangle down, they'll kind of cover the back. So it won't really matter where you go. Okay, so now that you've kind of got the idea, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up and you'll be able to see the final product. Okay, so now we've gotten pretty much everything pinned up. Just a few little strands that are stray. And as you can see, it's, it's definitely not perfect. But the nice thing about this hairstyle is you can move things around if it just doesn't look right. So for example, I've got this guy that's kind of sticking straight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the bobby pin that's holding that guy up, and I'm gonna move that piece of hair over to the side, I think. So you can really kind of move things around once you're done. And basically what you get is, like I said, it's kind of like a little peacock thing where you get this hair sticking up straight in the back. It's a little messy, but it's still kind of fun. So I recommend that you give it a try. It's kind of fun for casual things or you can uh, try to get away with it for something nice. Obviously, I did it kind of quickly, so, well, not too bad for a quick, you know, updo. And so, there it is, the bobby pin thing.